bit of advice, you know, I can't, I can't emphasize, it, emphasize it enough, is to understand the business you're in. You are there to support the business, you are not the business. Uh, and until you understand what the business is, the needs of the business, you, 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 you find it very difficult to make yourself relevant. So understand what, you, what your business is doing and present yourself and be positive in how you can bring, bring security in to support that business too. I'm going to turn that around a second in the sense of the IT department should be the first provider of choice, not the last provider of choice. You shouldn't say, oh, we have to go to the IT department. It's, let's bring the IT department in and talk about how we can enable this project. We tend to fall into this trap about talking about the downside or the negative aspects of risk. And to a business person, risk is opportunity. And and if we can start talking about the upside, I think it's, it's a lot easier to get their attention and a lot easier for people to understand why should I invest in security? You know, in the old world, it was if you do your job right, nothing happens. Whereas in the new world, it's about demonstrating the ability for security to help drive innovation and to drive availability and drive competitive advantage and really enable the business. You don't do anything without the finance department because they give you budget, right? Okay, IT has to be that level. I don't do anything with that IT because they give us enablement. So they have to be at the board level. Unfortunately, lots of information security people come from an IT background, therefore they're predisposed to talking about technology because that's their comfort zone. Uh, so they need to grow up, mature in that relationship and start to understand business issues. Otherwise, they're never going to make it to the board and they're never going to be held with any credibility inside an organisation. I think that's a, a move away from being the technical CISO to being more of a strategic CISO. So before, you always saw the CISO or the uh, security team as people that said, um, it, they say they saw you running towards a cliff. They go, no, 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 don't run towards that cliff. That is not a good thing to do. Uh, whereas now you're seeing more strategic CISO emerge where they say, I can see you're running towards the cliff. You know, you're an important person. You know what you're doing. You're intelligent. You must be running towards that cliff for a reason um, let me give you some options when you reach the edge of the cliff do you want an umbrella it costs five dollars um, you, you know it's a, it's a way of controlling uh, your descent you'll probably die but it's only five dollars you know, or do you want to spend two hundred dollars and get a parachute uh, that that's maybe a better more effective way of going down or do you want to give me 20 million dollars and I'll build you a bridge to the other side having key allies within an organization and actually getting out of the bubble, that you know, the technology bubble, is really critical to success because ITSEC and IT are business enablers. 